Lego YouTube is all about what's brand new, who got it first, and who got it the quickest. Well, how about we just all calm down? Let's go back in time to mine and Daniel Lewa's Lego collection and choose five highlights each that we think are underappreciated, underrated, and little gemstones within our personal collection. How does that sound? Let's do it. There are a lot of really awesome sets from the last hundreds of years, and Matt and I have been collecting our whole lives. Here are some really cool ones, starting with the Ninjago Diesel Knot from 2018 this is a fantastic set and jago did something kind of crazy with their hunted wave by introducing all of these very punk metal villains very cool and this set is my favorite of all of them having the baron younger woo spoiler alert but the best thing about this is that it is packed of full of features from cages to cranes to all sorts of different weapons launchers and stuff this just for me encapsulates something that is maybe not the flashiest of things but to me is very cool and special and this is what we need more from ninjago i get it we've been in dragons rising and i get it it's been the imperial and it's been the wolf shadow mask dojo but can't we go back to these unique villains that were literally steampunk or jungle themed or you know what i'm saying like come on that's daniel Lewis first one let's go to my first sleeper pick general magmar siege machine of doom this is way too far ahead of its time just kidding i don't really know if it's far ahead of its time but the feature on this nexo knight set is literally so well done it almost doesn't fit within the rest of the nexo night wave that it came out with like there are sets within themes that kind of transcend the themes that they're a part of and i feel like this is one of those sets for nexo nights where you have just an extra level of quality and polish and functionality that you don't see in most of the other nexo Knights sets it's literally a giant mouth once you do it like this is such a cool i could see this in a medieval fiction movie or something so credit to the designer so if you were sleeping on this set then you were definitely snoozing okay daniel lay was next hidden gem for a minute what is this hidden side <laughs> really oh hidden side oh, you're Barely recovering from it, retiring, but we're dipping back into the well here. This is the Mystery Castle, which in my opinion is the best hidden side set. It was a hundred bucks back in 2020. What a year that was. But this set is really nice and actually does really well what hidden side set out to do. And no, that wasn't the horrific AR game app. It was the really cool transformative feature that exposes the hidden side, as it were, of the different builds and you can see as this set opens up it has monster ghost jaws opening up in the bottom you have beautiful stained glass windows having a deeper lore to it all and just the whole layout and color scheme and shaping is something we really haven't seen before in lego and is definitely appropriately spooky this is one where i feel like if the theme had been better received then this would be a much more uh, well-beloved set, kind of like how we look back at the Haunted House from Monster Fighters. Everyone freaks out about the Haunted House. This kind of is that similar level of coolness. It's just not from as great of a theme and does not have as amazing of figures as that does. So maybe that's why it's not as well, well-beloved. Hidden Side actually sucked, but you know what doesn't suck is my second choice for a hidden gem. Iron School Sub Attack. Please don't click off the video right now. This is actually a really, really good set. It was actually on Amazon Prime recently, and I had an Amazon gift card, and I'm like, I'm just going to order it, even though it's a retired LEGO product. But man, it did not disappoint coming from a huge LEGO Marvel fan because they don't make sets like this anymore. It was a refreshing gust of creativity that just splashed me on my face when I was building this <laughs> because this has to be one of, if not the coolest, Iron Man suit. Daniel Lewa told me he loves this scuba Iron Man gold and turquoise color scheme. It's way too awesome. Not only that, the Iron Skull himself in Iron Man suit, Red Skull, this is actually also based off of a cartoon, which is really cool. So the minifigures, it was a breath of fresh air. I love it. Iron Skull sub attack. Yeah, it's rarely advisable to get a set just for one figure, but this is a rare case. If you're going to get a set for figure, Get it for the no, best Iron no, Man suit. Scuba Iron Man. No, oh my gosh. I, there are four good minifigures in this set. There are four One great. Really good ones. <laughs> I even enjoyed the Hydra Diver because it looks like a classic Hydra agent from the comics. It does. And it's the scuba diving suit. And Captain America just being a scuba diver, not needing any sort of suit because he's just dope. Just shows how raw he is. Also, shout out to the big skull <laughs> on the front face of the scuba uh submarine daniel's third hidden gem would be the earth defense hq from alien conquest one of the shortest lived lego themes of all time 
back in 2011. This was $90. $90. And this is one of the most fun feature packed sets I have ever had. I never had the joy of building, playing with. It literally just has everything. It has a bunch of characters, unique figs, especially the cyborg looking alien. The tank splits into kind of a more mobile unit and then compacts together as like a big. Uh, it's like goes into attack mode versus defense mode. And that is really awesome. You have a launching plane on the back, you have just a lab buggies. This just offers so much play potential. There are not very many sets that offer the same um, level of play and fun as this does. This is the creativity with space and kind of military. We don't see this anymore unless it's Asian inspired with Monkey Kid or Ninjago, or I guess they have dreams now. I don't know. But still, there's definitely this market, whatever this was for original action themes, is nowhere to be seen anymore. Okay. No, we don't see like sci-fi. Like we see Star Wars, but Star Wars is more fantasy than anything. My third hidden gemstone within my collection has to be Lotso's dump truck from Toy Story 3. The Toy Story trilogy is amazing. Notice I said trilogy, not four. Um, Come on. <laughs> you gotta, let's be frank, Daniel Lewa. The, the, the conclusion and ending in Lotso Bear's character in Toy Story 3 it was just amazing that i literally had to after this set was retired ordered this set because it comes with three disney villains and i have a disney villain collection of figures this is literally the only toy story 3 set that comes with the octopus which is a completely custom rubber piece on the bottom with suction cups on the bottom and the only toy story set that comes with chunk completely custom figure who face rotates to happy to angry uh, Lotso does come in uh, some different sets, but there were only four non-poly bag sets for Toy Story 3, and this has to be one of the best because of these three unique figures. Also, uh, the dump truck driver is kind of semi a figure, but it's just really cool if you're a fan of Disney villains. Lego's still trying to recapture that dump truck magic with the, the MK Team Power Truck. Okay, MK could never... <laughs> this is a real blast from the past. All you Bionicle fans out there, this is the Thornatus V9 from 2009 for 60 bucks, and you get a lot for your money on this one. This one I got for Christmas one year from Santa, and it was just like the craziest thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure I screamed when I saw it. This is when Bionicle was trying a really weird thing where they're like, well, we have all these action figure guys. Can we do anything more with them? So I just, you know, hitting them together. Let's put them in vehicles. And it more or less works. Like in 2009, we got a whole handful of vehicles scaled to the Bionicle system. And they're really cool. What I like about them is that they go back to the functionality that we saw with a lot of the original Bionicle sets that the Glatorian kind of lost. But these vehicles specifically have a lot of cool functionality and really elevated the play possibilities for your Bionicles. The actual driver... Uh, it's like the most generic possible and I could build ever, but this vehicle was really cool and the reuse of different parts like the creek ahead and everything for the mud flap essentially. Fourth sleeper pick, please don't hate me, please don't hate me. Eternals, I love Eternals. What is wrong with me? Oh. What is wrong with my MCU takes? I don't like oh, Guardians Volume man. 2, but I love Eternals. What's wrong with me? I don't agree with the movie critics. I'm a Sigma male. I'm, I'm on edge. I'm French. I'm crazy. No, but seriously, guys, this is such an amazing Lego set. I know it's not as flat as the one in the movie, and it's obviously done for such a blatantly obvious reason so that minifigures can actually stand inside of it and it's not extremely massive. And I know this because new Nick on Instagram built this and he had his seal of approval because he's very picky with his Lego sets, but he rebuilt this for me as well. It is the awesome Eternal set and it's a sleeper pick. Do you know how I know it's a sleeper pick? Because I see every Eternal set on discount everywhere that I go within a certain period of time. And now the same thing is happening with the Hoopty, but that one is actually trash. This one is not trash. They have a tiny Arishim within this ship. They have all sorts of Easter eggs and details. The Deviant builds were really awesome with the exception of crow he's kind of weird he definitely could have been more of a minifigure or big minifigure kind of thing not as uncanny buildable creature crow but the rest of the deviants are super uniquely built the domo is a really solid build and so satisfying to complete the perfect thick dorito triangle from space sent straight from Arishim. 
W set, I want to rebuild it immediately. And can you imagine if Eternals had actually like taken off as a series or like a movie? Because the, the sets are pretty awesome. For Marvel sets, they're really good. There's definitely a sleeper, unfortunately. All right, Daniel's fifth sleeper pick will be... Okay, this is a weird one. This is Pigsies and Noodle Tank from Monkey Kid 2021. So the second year of Monkey Kid. First year established that Pigsy has his noodle tank. No, first year established that Pigsy had his noodle truck and all the kind of whimsy that came along with that. And this leveled up the ante so much. So this is a literal tank made out of a literal ramen bowl. It's like a, a ramen bowl restaurant, which is already kind of a fun, quirky idea. But stick that on top of a tank with treads and like a rake. Which it's just, it's so bizarre. It's hard not to like... But unfortunately, I think it's also slept on. MK in general is a very slept on theme because of how inaccessible it is to North American audiences. We would never see something like this in any other theme. Guys, stop sleeping on Monkey Kid. And everyone was sleeping on it so much that they're literally canceling <laughs> the theme. They're canceling the me. theme. No more Monkey no. Kid. No. Oh, uh, they're canceling the theme. No, but seriously, this is actually a really good set. But I'll go ahead and conclude with my last hidden gem. These were in no particular order of which one's the most hidden and which one isn't. But Amy's Animal Rescue Island. I purchased four Amy and Tails minifigures. Didn't really buy it for the build, but I was left very pleased and very astounded that I enjoyed this little playset so much. Just looking at it, it literally looks like Sonic, the way that the tree geometry is configured, the way that the checkers are configured. And then when you build it, there are just a lot of little Easter eggs that are so fun. Amy breaks the rocks, the bridge collapses, there's a whole animal nursery on the backside of the thing. Of course, these robotic animals are like one of the coolest parts of the Sonic theme because they look so accurate to the game and they make you really think about Sonic. So this one just left me like, wow, I was um, really impressed by this one. I could see kids <laughs> of all genders and of all ages enjoying this Sonic set and i know that they'll enjoy it because i enjoyed it as a 25 year old a fall it's like the design team were just like well we have all these cool figures we gotta put them somewhere i don't know but they did not skimp out on these ones on this one specifically so well done and the animals are so adorable this is just completely random um our list like nobody's list is going to look like ours because there are so many lego sets so what would be really interesting is to hear what your kind of underrated sets would be within your collection that kind of shine to the top that you didn't think were or you know that people really slept on initially and i don't know maybe leave it within the comment section i don't know if you want no honestly we love seeing like what other people are interested in and especially the more niche stuff all the a falls get the modulars <clears throat> and all of the a falls get the whatever Star Wars, and that's all cool, fine and good, but it's really fun also to see what is the other kind of cool, interesting, quirky stuff that you may have, that you may cherish, that you think did not get the love that it uh, may have deserved in your opinion. So let us know. Just want to give a spectacular shout out to our spectacular channel members, which would be the spectacular Richie J Rage, Oliver J the Ginger Lender, I'm Lidme, Dr. Dan PhD, and MC Goat, the goats Rage. of all time. I want to, I really want to hear from each of you, which is your most underrated or just your favorite Lego set overall. Let's just hear it. And without further ado, Daniel Lewa, take us on out. If you are a real one and made it this far in the video, please comment another very underrated Pokemon, Tatsugiri.